Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Verb Circus. My name's Kyle Miller, and here I am in our third program with two great guests. They've been a lot of fun. First of all, we have the one and only Gregorio. How are you, Gregorio? Fine, thanks. Fine. Good. Are you enjoying your time here on the Verb Circus? A lot of fun, a lot of fun. You're having fun? Having fun. Good, and you're, doing, and you're doing a great job as well. And over here, the one and only Diego. How are you, Diego? So much fine. <laughs> so, well, fine, fine. fine. Gr fine or great? Oh, great. Great, okay, great. good, good, good. Good, and you're doing a great job as well. A lot of fun to have these two guys on the show. They're doing a great job. Let's take a look at our scores and see where they stand. The puntuación, the scores. That's right, we have Gregorio here with 175. That's a great score, Gregorio, good job. Not bad, not well, bad. Well, not bad at all. Yes, and Diego with 130. Good job, good Thanks. score as well. Well, let's see how they do today, ladies and gentlemen, in program number three. Let's get started. All right, Gregorio. First, we were talking a little bit about hobbies, your hobbies, and you told me that you like to go to Toledo. You love Toledo. Why, why do you like Toledo so much? Because the, 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 the ancient streets, the, the, the smell of the, of the streets, of the, those ancient streets. Yeah, the, the, the old streets. <coughs> the, old, old, the old streets. Okay, okay. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Uh, Toledo should be the capital of Spain. <laughs> okay. It's a, for me, it's the real capital of, of Spain. Okay, so you love, are you, are you from Toledo? No, I'm from Madrid. But you love Toledo? But I love Toledo. Good. It oh. was. Okay. It was. Excellent. Okay, and Diego, Diego, what, what's your hobby or what's your, what, what are your pastimes? I'm a supporter of Real Madrid. Ah. <laughs> do Football you, team. Do you, do you watch all the matches? I try. You try, okay, okay. And who's your favorite player? Everyone, I have no one special. Okay, okay, you like them all, very good. Football, yeah, very popular in Spain, right? Real Madrid. <laughs> all right, okay, well, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen, the way we always do, by choosing our verb of the day. Here it comes, our verb of the day, here it is. Oh, look at that, the verb to run, <coughs> to run, everyone. So let's conjugate this verb, Gregorio. Can you conjugate this verb for us, please? Run, run, run. Okay, every day? I run. Yesterday? I run. Sorry? I run. Ran. Run. And lately? I've run. I've run, exactly. Every day I run, yesterday I ran, and lately I have run. Run, ran, run. Okay, good job. Remember, always repeating. Siempre en voz alta, always repeating out loud at home. All right, let's take a look at our uses of the verb. First we have correr, to run. Uh, have you ever run in a marathon, Diego? No, I have no run in a... I, I have never. I have never run in a marathon. In a marathon, okay. Uh, Ask Gregorio if he has ever run in a marathon. Have you ever run in a marathon? I'm afraid I haven't, I haven't, yeah. I haven't. I haven't, give me a full sentence. I haven't run in a marathon. In a in marathon. I haven't run or I've never run in a marathon. Okay, me neither, yo tampoco. Next we have to run a business. To run a business, to operate a business. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I would like to operate or to run my own business. Mm, would you like to run your own business? Yeah. Yes, I would like to run my own business someday. Right now I don't, but someday I think I would like to run my own business. Do you run your own business, Gregorio, at the moment? No, I don't. I don't run my own business. Okay, so to run a business, to operate a business, to be the owner of a business, to run the business. Then we also have to work, <coughs> or to operate, or to drive something. Uh, ask Gregorio, Diego, ask Gregorio if he knows how to run a tractor. Do you know how to run a tractor? No, I Gregorio? don't. Gregorio? No, I don't know. I don't know how to ride, how to drive. How a, to run? How to run a tractor. A tractor, yeah. How, remember how, to know how to. I don't know how to run a tractor. Me neither. Okay. Um, okay, do a lot of toys run on batteries, Diego? Toys. Yeah. Children's toys. Do a lot of toys run on batteries? No, no. Run on batteries? Uh. Yes. Yes, a lot of toys run, on, run out of batteries. No, run on batteries. Sorry. 
A lot of toys run on batteries. Yes, they do. They run right. on batteries. <coughs> they operate con, con pilas. They run on batteries. batteries. Exactly. Now we also have, finally, to, to be or to campaign as a candidate for an election. So to run for a political position. Diego, ask Gregorio if he has ever run for a political position. Gregorio, have you ever run for a political position? No, I haven't. I haven't ever run. I've never. I've never. I've never. I've never run for a political position. Okay, so not like the president, right? <laughs> so to present your candidacy, to run for a position, to run for mayor, to run for president, to run for a political position, to, to present your candidacy for election. All right, guys, I think you're ready. I think you're doing a great job, and I think we're ready to move on to the translation challenge. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the translation challenge. That's right here. You will see the sentence in Spanish. Vas a ver la frase en español y tres opciones en inglés. Y tienes que elegir la traducción correcta para ganar cinco puntos for five points. Are you ready, guys? We are. We are. They're ready. Okay, they're both ready. Let's hear example number one. Ella subió el monte corriendo. Okay. Option A. She runs up the hill. B, she ran up the hill. And C, she climbed the hill running. You've got five seconds to pick your answer. Pick it out, Diego. Five mm. seconds. Okay, we'll start with Gregorio this time. What have you got for us, Gregorio? What do you think? I think B. B, he says. Okay, and Diego? B as well. B as well. Can you read that for me, Diego? She ran up the hill. <coughs> Sorry. She ran up the hill. She ran up the hill. She ran up the hill. Correct. That's good for five Whoa. points. Good job, both of you. She ran. Simple past. She ran up the hill. Good job. All right, let's go on now to number two. Él se gana la vida como corredor. Mm, okay. A. He wins the living as a runner. B. He makes his living like a runner. And C, he makes his living as a runner. Five seconds. All right, we have this idea of ganarse la vida. We have a, a way of saying that in English. Uh, we'll go to Diego first this time. What do you think, Diego? C. C, can you, can you read it for us? He makes his living as a runner. As a runner. runner. Okay, and Gregorio? C. C as well. So you agree with him? Yeah, I do. Okay. And the correct <laughs> answer is, in fact, <coughs> C. Good job for five points. Can you read it for us, Gregorio? He makes his living as a runner. He makes his living as a runner. How do you make your living, Gregorio? Uh, I, make my live, I make a living as a civil servant. Okay, yes. For the nuclear safety. Exactly, for nuclear country. safety, that's right. And I make a living as an English teacher, and you make a living as a banker, right? Okay. Okay, good. All right, good job, guys. Let's hear number three. Él corre como un guepardo. Ooh, very fast, very fast. <laughs> yes. Option A, he runs like a cheetah. B, he runs as a cheetah. And C, he run like a cheetah. Five seconds. All right. You've got your answer there, Gregorio. Was this easy for you? Was it easy for you? I thought, I thought, but uh, I, I, I have made a mistake. Okay, well, let's see, let's see what you've got. I choose, I chose, I chose C. Okay, well, we'll see. Diego? I prefer the B. B? And the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact A. Oh, he runs like a cheetah. Because the difference between <coughs> like and as, for, for example, when we talk about a profession, we use as. I work as an English teacher. I work like a slave, right? <laughs> it's like como y como si fuera, yeah. more or less. Okay, so here he runs, because the third person saying read an S. He runs like a cheetah. So can you repeat that for us, Gregorio? He runs like a cheetah. He runs like a cheetah. Yeah. All right, great job. Hopefully you got that one at home. All right, let's move on now to number four. 
Este coche funciona con etanol. Okay. Option A. This car functions with ethanol. B. This car runs with ethanol. And C. This car runs on ethanol. You have five seconds. All right. Getting those answers out. All right, uh, we'll go to Diego first this time. What have you got for us, Mr. Diego? C. C, are you sure about that? Yes, I'm so sure. Okay, <laughs> he's, uh, he's very sure, all right. Very and Gregorio? Sure. I've got C, B, oh. B, B. B, you've got B. B. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who do you trust? B or C, <coughs> or, maybe, or maybe they're both wrong, maybe it's A. The correct answer is in fact C, it's Diego yeah. with the right answer this time. It runs on. <laughs> It runs on a fuel, right? My car runs on gasoline. This car runs on ethanol. So can you repeat that for us, Gregorio? <coughs> this car runs, uh, sorry, this car runs on ethanol. Yes, and at home, one more time. This car runs, runs on, on ethanol. ethanol. Good job. All right, good job, guys. Let's take a look at our total scores here. After round one of the translation challenge, we'll see where they stand here with our scores, our puntuación. We have a total here of Gregorio, let's see, 185. Good job, Gregorio. And Diego moving up as well with 145. Good job. Doing very well. All right, let's move on now to our other uses of today's verb. All right, here in our other uses, we have some phrasal verbs. Verbos compuestos, yeah, phrasal verbs. The first one is to run out of. Que es quedarse sin, to run out of. <coughs> So, uh, Diego, ask <coughs> Gregorio if he thinks the world is running out of oil. Hey, Gregorio, have your car run out? No, 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 not, 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 not his car. Ask him if, if he thinks the world <coughs> is running out of ah, oil. the world. Si el mundo está quedando sin yeah, yeah, yes. The, Gregorio. Petróleo, excuse me. Do you think that half the, is the world, world is the world run out? Run, running run out, out of petroleum? Yeah, petroleum or oil. Is the world oh. running out of oil, Gregorio? Of course it is. It is. Give me a full sentence. Of course, I think uh, the world is run, running out of oil. Running out of oil. It's running out of, right, at home. It is running out of oil. Poco, like little by little, right? Poco a poco, little by little. Okay, and now our second one is to run into. To run into, which can mean two things. To run into, you mean driving your car and you can hit something. Have you ever run into a tree with your car? No, I have never run into a tree with my car. Okay, thank God, right? To run into. Also, to run into also means to meet someone that is a friend of yours, typically, by, by chance, por casualidad. So if, imagine I'm on Gran Via, I'm walking down the street, and, Gregorio, hey! I wasn't planning to see you, but I meet you by chance. So, Gregorio, do you sometimes run into friends in Madrid? Uh, Madrid is, I, I, I'm afraid it's too large okay. to run into friends. Okay. Usually. Okay. No, not usually, but maybe sometimes. Maybe in my neighborhood, okay. I may. You run into people sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, very good. So, to run into, to run into is our second <coughs> phrasal verb. All right, well done, guys. Good job. Let's move on now to round two of the translation challenge. All right, here we are, friends, in round two of the translation challenge. It's exactly the same as the first round, except now, instead of five points, ten points available for every correct answer. All right, guys, let's hear example number one. Nunca bajo las escaleras corriendo. Mm, it's a good idea, right? It's true, it's true. A, I never run downstairs. B, I never down the stairs running. And C, I never go down the steps running. Mm. All right, okay, let's go to Gregorio first. I've got C. C, I never, okay, I never go down the steps running. Hmm. Okay, and uh, Diego? Diego says A. He says A. Okay, sorry? I say A. Yeah, I say A. Okay, good, good. Okay, and the correct answer at home, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact A. Good job, yeah. Diego. 
Yes, I never run <laughs> run downstairs. Yeah, we wouldn't say go down the steps running. Mm. I never run downstairs. Okay. So can you repeat that for us, uh, Gregorio? I never run downstairs. Yes. Do you ever run downstairs? Uh, no. 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 It's a bad idea. It's not safe. It's not safe. Right? It's okay. Not safe. <laughs> okay. Well done. Okay. Good job. And uh, 10 points for you there, Diego. Thanks. Let's hear example number two. Se acercaron al banco corriendo. Okay. Option A. They approached the bank by running. And B. They ran up to the bank. And option C. They went up to the bank running. All right, five seconds. Okay. Now we have a certain expression, a certain way of saying this. Maybe it's a little bit tricky. Why don't we go first to Diego? What have you got for us? I say B. B. Okay. And Gregorio? I think C. C. Okay. Well, at home, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? B, C, A? Well, the correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact B. Mr. Diego, you have the right answer again. You're on a roll in Racha. Good job, Diego. But I need you to read this for me, Gregorio. Can you read it? They ran up to the bank. Yes. They ran. 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 Okay. Ran. Good. They ran up to the bank. Okay. And correct. Good job there. And at home, <coughs> they ran up to the bank. They ran up to the <coughs> bank. In Botata. Muy bien. All right, let's hear example number three. He decidido presentarme para presidente. Okay, so we saw this example. You should know this one. A, I decided to run president. B, I've decided to run as president. And option C, I've decided to run for president. All right, so we saw this example. It's a question of knowing that preposition, right? The preposition. Hopefully you have it right at home. Let's take a look at uh, Gregorio. What have you got for us, Gregorio? C. C. Can you read it out loud, please? I've decided to run for president. Okay, and Diego? I say C as well. As well. I've decided <coughs> to run for president. Question. Correct. Good job for 10 points, both of you. I've decided to run for president. Diego, can you say that for us again? I've decided to run for president. Decided. I decided. I've, I've decided. I've decided to run for president. Good. I've decided to <laughs> run for president. Good job. Well done for 10 points. Excellent. Let's move on now to example number four. El agua se derramó sobre la mesa y cayó al suelo. Hmm. Okay. A, the water ran of the table to the floor. B, the water ran off the table and onto the floor. And C, the water ran from off the table and fell down to the floor. Five seconds. All right, a little bit trickier here. A little bit more difficult. Uh, why don't we go to Diego first? What have you got for us? I say A. He says it's A. Okay. Gregorio, do you agree with Diego on this one? Mm, no, not at all. Not at not, all? Not. Okay, what, what have you got for us? My guess is C. C. It's okay. a guess. It's a guess. So we have C and A, but ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is B. Yeah, the correct answer is B, so no points. It's the water ran off the table, not yeah. of, que es de, no, off, off yeah, the fuera. table and onto the floor. Okay, can you repeat it for me, Gregorio? The water ran off the table and onto the floor. Okay, and one time at home, the water yeah. ran off the table yeah. and onto the floor. Good job, great job at home. All right, guys, let's take a look at our scores here after round two of the translation challenge. <laughs> Let's see where they stand. We have Gregorio with 195 and Diego with 175. Moving up. You're catching up. Alcanzando, eh? Yes, I'm catching up. Good job, Diego. Well done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on now to our expression of the day. All right. Our expression of the day today is who runs the show here? To run the show. What does this mean, Gregorio? Do you know this expression? 
Yeah, to run the show means to call the shots. To call, which is another expression, <laughs> but what does that mean? How do, how do you say it in Spanish? Uh, eh, el bacalao, algo del bacalao. Eh, ¿Quién maneja el bacalao aquí? ¿Quién uh, parte el bacalao? Who, yeah. <laughs> you say, who cuts the, who cuts cuts the cod, the right? <laughs> okay, uh, or también uh, dirigir el cotarro. ¿Quién maneja exactamente? Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Who runs the show here? So around, who, ru who runs the show here, Diego? You, Kyle. Well, I suppose, I suppose. I have a lot of bosses, though. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's have you say that to Gregorio. I need you to say it. Who runs the show here? Who runs the show here, the show here? One more time. Who runs the show here? Okay, good, and Diego? Who runs the show here? One more time. Who runs the show here? Good, who runs the show here? All right, <laughs> I mean, it's like saying, who's the boss, right? Who's the boss? Who runs the show here? He runs the show because he's the boss. All right, good job, well done, guys. It's time to move on now to my favorite part of the show, the speed round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the speed round. Yes, here in the speed round, we have the questions and you have the answers. Excuse me, the other way around, I have the answers and it's your job to form the questions. That's right, so pay attention. Fíjate la información que sale en rojo en pantalla y tienes que pedir esa información. All right, remember, guys, you'll have two minutes and you have to press that buzzer after I say go. Aquí por tus errores restamos diez puntos, okay? So you have to be careful. All right, let's get two minutes up there on the clock and we'll get started. All right, let's start the clock. I can run for miles. Go. Gregorio. How far can you run? Correct, good job. Repeat it again, please. How far can you run? Good, how far can you run? How far can you run? Next example, my clock stopped running at three o'clock. Go. Gregorio. What time did your clock stop running? Repeat. What time did your clock stop running? Correct, for 10 points. What time did your clock stop running? What time did your clock stop <coughs> running? Good job for 10 points. Next example. It runs on a mix of gasoline and electricity. Go. Go ahead, Diego. Uh, we, uh, uh. It runs on a mix of gasoline and electricity. Quickly. And how it runs on? No, I'm afraid not. Minus 10. Pass or play, Gregorio. He's gonna play, go ahead. What does it run on? Correct, what does it run on? For 10 points, what does it <coughs> run on? Good job, next example. They ran to the center of the city, go. Gregorio. Where did they run to? Correct, repeat. Where did they run to? Good, where did they run to? Where did they run to? Good job, next example. The engine is running really well. Good, go ahead. Diego. Uh, how, how is the, the engine running? Correct, that's good. How is the engine running? Repeat, please. How is the engine running? Good, how is the engine running? Good job for 10 points. Next example. Joe is running for president. Go. Gregorio. Who's running for president? Correct, for 10 points. Good job, repeat it, please. Who's running for president? Good, who is running for president? Who is running for president? Good job, that's good for 10 points. Well done, guys, that was a good round. Let's see where they stand here. Let's take a look at our scores after the first two minutes of the speed round. Ah, uh, yes, 245 <laughs> for Mr. Gregorio. And 175 for Diego, not bad though. Good score, good scores, all right. Okay, but it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put another minute up there on the clock and we're gonna resume with the same activity. <coughs> Okay, let's start the clock. I ran because the dog chased me. Go. Gregorio. What did you run? Repeat, please. What did you run? Correct. Why did you run? Remember that question intonation. Why did you run? Good job for 10 points. Next example. John's running for treasurer. Go. Uh, Diego. Uh, for who is running for, oh, for, John, uh, John's for, running for treasurer. He's running, who Quickly. is running for treasurer? Repeat. Who is running for treasurer? Okay, correct. I'm going to give that to you. 10 points. Who is running for treasurer? Who's running 
for treasure. Good job for 10 <coughs> points. Next example. He's been running the show for three years. Go. Gregorio. How long has he been running the show? Repeat, please. How long yeah. has he been running the show? Correct. That's good for 10 points. How long has he been running the show? <coughs> How long? Good job. How long has he been running the show? Well done. Let's take a look at their scores here after today's program. That was a good last minute there. Let's take a look at our scores, de puntuacion. See where they stand. We have Gregorio with 265, and the one and only Diego with 185. <laughs> good scores, though. Very good. I want to thank them for participating today. They've been great. And I want to thank you for watching as well and remind you to take a look at our website, nuestra página web, por eso volver a concursar con las mismas preguntas del programa de hoy aquí mismo en nuestra página web, aprendeingles.com. As always, como siempre, as always, I have a couple prizes, some CDs. I'm going to give them to our contestants right now. Great job. Great job. Well done, huh? Good job, good job. Our contestants today will be taking home from our friends at Bond Radio, The Verb Circus, Volume 3, in audio format. This is 20 programs in MP3 format. You can get your copy today at baugantienda.com. This is for you, sir, Gregorio. Thanks. Great job. And for you as thank well, you Diego. Much. They've been great. I want to thank them, and I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon right here on The Verb Circus. <laughs>